No, 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 no. No, you can't turn back now. I'm starting to see you as the voice of a very misunderstood section of our society. But, you know, there's a million of me going around, mate. And they'll all tell you they had a tough life. Beaten up by their dad. In trouble with the cops. Pisshead mum. Rough school. A million fucking excuses why they turned out to be bad eggs. <laughs> and I've had all of the above. Oh yeah. yeah. Truth is, most of them are just bored. I know they leave their shit eye state school, live in their diddly bumfuck nowhere suburb. Before you know it, you got some girl up the duff and no money. <laughs> she spends the day with a screaming sprog, a fag in her mouth, plonked in front of a daytime soap and a tracky dax all day, dreaming about being swept up by some Fabio and she just gets... <laughs> yeah, she just gets fatter. But her Centrelink payments have gone up and all the fat friends are waiting in line behind her. <laughs> Yeah, it's a career move for him, yeah, getting up the duff. And you? Yeah. You drink with your mates? Yeah. Watch the footy? And the highlight of the week is the local tavern has a skimpy barmaid every Friday. And you know the rest of the world has got it better than you. You just know it. The magazines are telling you that. The newspapers, the telly, everybody's richer, everybody's more beautiful, everybody's got more a purpose. <laughs> and you're thinking, how do I make sense of this dog ass life? And then one day, you get hold of a gun. You don't even know what you're going to do with it. It's like the sound of a V8 in the distance. It just takes you. Somewhere else. I don't see you writing any of this down. I'm spilling my guts out in the name of art and you couldn't give a shit. What sort of writer are you?